day, everyone, and happy Canada Day. Welcome to this special edition of Quick Updates. My name is Andre Schutten. I'm Director of Law and Public Policy with ARPA Canada. Canada Day is a good day to rejoice and be glad in the gift God has given us in this dominion of Canada. It's a good country to live in, a good country to raise children in, it's a good country to work in and to minister and serve others in. We generally have freedom, economic opportunity, and rule of law. Canada is founded upon principles that recognize the supremacy of God and the rule of law. We have a legal, political, and cultural history that rests on those principles. This is even etched into our iconic peace tower where three Bible texts are inscribed, two from Psalm 72 and one from Proverbs. On the east side of the tower, in the arch over the stained glass window, is etched, He shall have dominion also from sea to sea. That is a prophetic part of the psalm referring to the reign of Christ. Christ the King shall have dominion from sea, the Atlantic, to sea, the Pacific. Canada Day used to be called Dominion Day, recognizing this biblical principle that the supremacy of God over all of the dominion of Canada. He shall have dominion from sea to sea. This is also the motto of Canada engraved on our coat of arms, ad mare usque ad mare, from sea also to sea. Now on the south side of the Peace Tower, it reads, Give the king thy judgments, O God, and thy righteousness unto the king's son. That's the opening prayer of Psalm 72 for the king of the nation. It makes sense to etch that on the peace tower high above the legislative building where the laws of this country are crafted and debated and passed. The prayer of Psalm 72 and of our nation historically is that the lawmakers would give the judgments or be given the judgments and righteousness of God. May that be our prayer today as well. And finally, on the west side is etched this proverb from Proverbs 29, where there is no vision, the people perish. At the time that that was etched into parliamentary stone, the vast majority of Canadians would have known the rest of the proverb. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. The NIV translation is helpful. Where there is no revelation, people cast off restraint. But blessed is the one who heeds wisdom's instruction. Now, doesn't that sound a little familiar? When was the last time the revelation from God has been heard inside our political institutions? Or how many of our lawmakers hear the revelation from God proclaimed week after week? Probably very few. And the result is that people cast off restraint. The law is no longer seen as a blessing, but as a useless restraint. And so we throw off legal protections for human life at both ends of the spectrum. We throw away restraints on family structure. We throw away restraints on sexual ethics or on the beautiful biological reality of female and male. And we are no, no happier, far from it. The proverb says, he that keeps the law, the law of God, happy is he. But our culture isn't happy. We're confused, we're lost, scared, angry, and so depressed. So on this Canada Day, I want to encourage you to pray three things that correspond to those three Bible texts on our Peace Tower. First, commit to praying a prayer of thankfulness for the fact that Jesus Christ has dominion. He reigns from sea to sea to sea. Praise God for the fact that Canada was founded upon principles that recognize the supremacy of God and the rule of law. Thank him that we do still have freedom though it is waning, and we do still have opportunity, and we stu dil still do have rule of law, much more so than many other countries in the world. Second, commit to praying for return of God's justice and righteousness to Parliament and the provincial legislatures. Beg God to give to the sons and daughters in the House of Commons and Senate His justice and His righteousness. And third, commit to pray and act to bring the vision back to the people, lest we perish. Without vision, the people will perish. Who brings the vision? Well, the vision comes from God, but he shares it through his people. So commit in prayer for God to throw open the doors to the gospel in this country. Beg for a revival. Plead for the Holy Spirit to move in this country. Imagine what God can bring about. Imagine the freedom and the joy our neighbors will experience by no longer casting off restraint, but rather embracing the one true God, Savior of the world, who came to save and to set free. That's your calling and that's mine as Christian citizens. Dear supporters, happy Canada Day. May God hear and bless our prayers for our nation.